Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a three ingredient dessert. It's salty and it's sweet and it's simple to make. You can get the full recipe in the link below. Let's make it together, friends. to make a fun treat today so let me get this set up really quick and then we'll chat about it if you're joining me I would love to know what your favorite if you're watching live I would love to know what your favorite Christmas dessert is drop it below it doesn't have to be a fancy dessert it can be simple and easy but that you have to have every single year drop it below and let me know um let me change this Okay, I got it working now. So if we're going to make today on this video, hold on, make sure it's working, it is. Okay, we're going to make Rolo pretzels. Rolo pretzels, we call them Prolos. If you know what I'm talking about, give me a heart below. To, if you do not know who my, I am, my name is Carrie with eatingonadime.com where we provide simple but delicious recipes. We say real food for real families, so there's no crazy ingredients. It's not gonna take you a ton of time, and today's recipe is the perfect example. It's three ingredients, guys. Three ingredients is all you need to make pretzel Rolos. They're so good. Okay, if you need the full recipe, say recipe below. We'll give you variation ideas the nutritional information, you can print it, save it, everything. So just say recipe below and you'll get the full recipe, but I'm gonna make it for you right now and show you how easy it is. Okay, um, what did he do with that? My beautiful husband, hold on real quick. Okay, well I was gonna show you something, but now I can't find it, so. But I'll just tell you what it is. Okay, right now we're making these for Christmas. So I have a red and green M&Ms. However, I don't know about you, but for me, it's been really hard to find red and green M&Ms. And so when my husband went to the store, he had found those candy canes. So even though we couldn't find the bags of red and green M&Ms, they had the candy canes. So they have red and green M&Ms for them. So if you're having trouble finding festive look for Christmas, look for those candy canes. Just a little fun tip. I wanted to show it to you, but now I can't find them. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Okay, I found it. <laughs> it was just laying over there. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm talking about. You know how they're filled with red and green M&Ms. So if you cannot find your grocery store has those red and green M&Ms, just the regular bag, go ahead and look for these candy canes that are filled with the festive colors. That way you can still make your festive treats and you're just paying a little bit more. Not a ton, right? There's a, these are very inexpensive. Okay, so that's just my tip. Now, I'm making these for Christmas, but if I'm being honest with you, we make this for every single holiday. Valentine's, it's because M&M's make colored, uh, colored M&M's for every holiday, it seems like. You can make these for 4th of July. You can make these for Easter. You can make them for Valentine's Day. You can make them for any birthday. Um, what other? You can make them for Thanksgiving. You can literally just change the M&M's and you have a completely new holiday treat. And in my family, these are a must-have at every holiday. So, and they're so simple. It's just the perfect salty and sweet. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. First, we're gonna preheat the oven. We're gonna preheat the oven for 200 degrees. I forgot to do that. Okay, so we preheat the oven to 200 degrees. Then we're gonna make a layer of pretzels. Any kind of pretzels will work. I'm just using a regular small pretzel. I do really like, make sure they're not broken pretzels. I do like to use those square pretzels that you can find around the holidays. We just didn't have them, so we're just doing. You can also find it like Sam's and some grocery stores. They have like Christmas tree ones. If, you're, if it's Christmas, if you're doing this for Christmas, but again, any holiday will work. So don't be picky about your pretzels. Any of them will work. So you're just gonna lay this on a baking sheet with parchment paper. You don't have to do the parchment paper, but it does make it a lot easier because you don't have to clean up your pan and it just peels right off because we're gonna be melting chocolate. Okay. 
So I got them lined out. As you can see, it's gonna be super easy. Now, another tip that I just learned. So our grocery store, normally I buy the bag of Rolos, right? They have a bag like in the baking section, but they're individually wrapped. If you buy the rolls of Rolos, they're not individually wrapped, which makes it a lot easier because the hardest part about this recipe is unwrapping all the Rolos. I used to get my kids involved. So look, now I just pull it off. See how easy that was? Like so easy, right? So we're gonna throw that on there. So you lay one Rolo on top of each pretzel. Give me a heart, friends, if you love salty and sweet. If you need the full recipe, you can always get it at eatingonadime.com or we have a great search feature. You, you just type in pretzel rollos or you can say recipe below, just say it below, and then it will automatically send you the link for you to get this recipe. I know if you're doing this for Christmas, guys, Christmas is just around the corner, so this is the perfect, easy, dessert that you can bring with hardly any effort. Okay, so I got all the Rolos on here. Okay, can you see? Hey, see how they're just laying right on top. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. It's gonna take three to five minutes and we're gonna chat while they're baking. I'm gonna go ahead and do another pan while we're waiting for that. Because, Like I said, my kids love this recipe. about our other ideas we do have two other recipes that are delicious as well one of them and if you say recipe we will send all three of them to you okay so one of them is our Hershey kiss pretzels and what you do is you take a pretzel and then you put a hug on top and then you'll do the M&M the other one is going to be the Rolos but with pecans so you'll do the pretzels with the Rolos and then at the end when we push in our M&Ms we're going to actually put a pecan in instead of an M&M. And that is so good as well because you get that pecan flavor. It's like nut, salty, and sweet. I mean, you just get everything in this dessert. And it's so easy, guys. If you haven't ever made these, you're really missing out um, because it, number one, it's so festive. You put it on a little tray and it looks like you did so much work. They're so delicious, but it's, it's no work at all. I love how simple it is. It doesn't require a lot of work. Okay. We have two minutes left. So I'm doing three to five minutes. Now you don't want to, oh, one minute left. You do not want to overcook them because it has to be the part, you don't want them to melt. You just want to get them softened. That's the trick here. So we don't melt the Rolos. I mean, yeah, we don't melt the Rolos. We just get them soft. And that's why we're only doing for three to five minutes because you're not actually melting them. You're just getting them soft enough to where they can be smashed. Okay, I'm gonna move these out of the way because the other ones are about done. I'll finish these later. Let me go grab them. Look how good these look. Now, as you can see, they're still in a solid form, right? But they're definitely glistening and starting to melt. That's how you know they're perfectly ready. I know I hear you. And guys, my oven wasn't even preheated to 200 all the way yet. So then you take one M&M, press it on top, and then just push it in. Push it in. It doesn't take a lot of pushing, just a slight push. Boop. Also, if you go to our desserts, on a dime website, we have something very similar to this, but you turn them into reindeers. Oh, that one was crickety. And that's so cute. You use the red M&Ms and you make reindeers out of them. So go to dessertsonadime.com and type in reindeer and you'll see that and it's so cute too. Isn't 
This is so fun. It's very calming right now. <laughs> if you're wanting the recipe, guys, you just gotta say recipe below. I need to get a little paper towel, hold on. Okay, let me finish these up and then I'll give you a closer look. Mine are a little sloppy. I might have even put them in just a little too long because they're extra sloppy. So watch your oven. This is the first time I've made these in my oven since moving here because everybody wants to make these because they're so easy. So at holidays, someone always brings them. Like my sister usually brings them and because the kids can do it and so it's fun. But it's fun little trick too. If you can find Christmas M&Ms on sale after Christmas, buy them up because you can use the red ones for Valentine's Day and the green ones for St. Patrick's Day. And you can do this for both. I mean, how fun is that, right? And you got them for super cheap, right? Okay, so look how cute they look. Now we're just going to set them in the fridge or on the counter, whichever one you want, depending on how hurry you are, and let them harden. But these are one that do fine in the fridge. We have some desserts that we don't recommend you do them in the fridge, like Rice Krispie Treats or anything chocolate covered. You need them to naturally harden, but these are fine. They'll look beautiful regardless. You can throw it in the freezer if you're in a hurry, throw them in the fridge, and that's it. See, and they're, you know what, I'm just gonna have to eat one, even though they're, it's still, this one's messed up, so I need to eat it, right? What'd you think? It's messed up, that's okay, I'm gonna eat it. Watch. Mm. It's so good. And it's not even hardened, but it's that. You know, what's in the middle of the Rolos? Mmm, caramel, yeah. It's that caramel, chocolate, and salty pretzel, pretzel mix. That's just amazing. If you haven't had them, you're missing out, right? Okay, any holiday, this is wonderful for Christmas, but it's honestly so great for every holiday. Make them year round, they'll be your favorite thing to make. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope I inspired you to stop stressing out about desserts for the holidays when you can make something super simple like pretzel rollos. Okay, if you need the recipe guys, just say recipe below and we'll send it to you. You can always find the link in the description as well. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, you can get the link in the description for our delicious pretzel rollos plus two other easy pretzels treats. Oh, I can't talk. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our family friendly recipes. Bye guys.